Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is Steve Sims. I haven't actually, well, you already bloody knew that because you're on my Facebook page, but um, I haven't put up a video for a while because I've uh, moved in house. You might recognize the garage is slightly different. Yeah, we call it a garage because that's how it's supposed to be called. And I'm here, you know, I'll send on my last uh, old fashioned for the night. But um, I just wanted to kind of talk to you about moving in. Um, I was living in, uh, as many of you know, up in uh, Coldwater Canyon, Mulholland in Los Angeles. I've moved slightly out now, get a bit more space. And, uh, you know, when you move, you get a lot of stuff that you've got to bring with you. And you go through the kind of like, do I need to pack that? Do, you know, how the bloody hell did I buy that shit? You know, why did I even own that? And there's a lot of people to say, hey, it's a great cleaning out mechanism. Um, for me, it's turned my ass upside down because it's been very annoying, because it's been very upset, uh, unsettling. Uh, I've been trying to kind of get my groove. And like everyone, you're moving. That's one thing, but no one realizes you're still doing the rest of the bloody shit you do every day. You know, you're still trying to keep the wheels rolling. You're still trying to keep the people in communication, even when you've got some ass wipe trying to do your internet. So it's a tough thing to do. And... We always say, you know, what we preach, we don't always practice. And I'd always told people that when things start moving around, you know, that's when you're supposed to just like lay back and kind of like go with it. So I haven't done that. Um, I've been trying to control everything like a lot of uh, entrepreneurs do. And it's been very tough. It's been very tiring on me. Uh, I moved in bloody two and a half weeks ago and it's just been damn tiring. I, I am tired. Um... This morning I had a meeting in Santa Monica and I rode through Topanga, Topanga Canyon on the, on the Harley and I was having a good old cruise and it was lovely, beautiful weather. It, it's, it's stunning here in California, that's why we live here. Um, and I ended up getting on the PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, and as I'm riding down the road, there's all the surfers on the right-hand side of me. And I pulled over just to kind of like chill, check my emails. You know, what better setting than, you know, looking over the ocean? And uh, there was a surfer there, and he was chatting about his Harley, and we were just talking and stuff like that. And I ain't a surfer, because surfers have bloody sharks, and I don't want my ass at. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't bloody surf. And we were talking about different things, and I said to him, so how do you surf? And he said, you know, um, he said the first way of learning to surf is to learn not to control. And I was like, oh, what are you on about? You know, you've you got to be able to make sure things work, you know, and you've got to get your position. He said, you've got to let it go. He said, the, the sea's going to come at you in, in all different ways. It's going to throw you all over the place. Uh, he said, the first lesson is to learn that you can't control it. He said, you want to go with it. Surfing isn't about being able to maintain, attack, control. It's about being able to ride and to actually be able to endure, to be able to adapt and edit. And I remember when I used to do motocross, you used to go around a corner with like 30 other bikes. And I used to race motocross bikes before I blew both my knees out. You get into a corner, you know, you're digging in the brakes and you accelerate on the rear and churn up all the dirt and splash the guy behind you and hopefully slow him up and you'd be gone. By the time you got back to that corner, 30 other dirt bikers had gone through that corner. That corner didn't look the same because it was just all over the bloody place. And I noticed then at the time, and it was very early on in my motocross, I won't say career, but in my, in my rides, that it was the adaptation that won. It was the ability to be able to get in there and go, okay, corner's different, different riding line, different power plug, you know, just all these different things. It's taught me quite openly, and this morning was a, was a smack in the face of, you know, practicing what you preach. You can't control a lot of the stuff you're doing. It's a case of ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving, and moving with it. The tall tree that I spoke about in my book didn't survive because it was the strongest. It survived because it went with the flow. And I've tried to resist, and it's actually got me very haggard, it's got me very tired, um, and it, it's got me exhausted, to be honest with you. Um, so what I'm trying to urge is to let it go sometimes. Go with the flow. If someone's punching the head, let it go, just come back. That's what we've got to do. We've got to learn to adapt. We've got to learn to edit our life. We've got to learn to manoeuvre with what's important to us. Because if we don't, then quite simply we're going to become rigid. And as we all know, rigid things crack and break. And you can't repair that shit. So I wish you all the well. Um, I'm nearly, nearly settled in my house. But I've got to admit, talking to that surfer this morning taught me two things. One, not to control everything that I want to. And secondly, you can get the greatest advice from just the... the strangest places so keep those things open you never know when you may get something that really impacts your life anyway 
Bottoms up, cheers, love you all. Thank you for your support. Uh, podcast is actually being worked on now, so um, you seem to like the bloody idea, so I'm going to do it. And guess what it's going to be? It's going to be in a garage, and it's going to have a few more in these. So I'm sure by the tail end of the podcast, it'll be a bit slurry. But there you go. Uh, first podcast in the century with uh, subtitles. Anyway, all the best. Thank you very much, and uh, see you soon. Bye.